Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying File Under Kingdom. I came across this while browsing Steam and it seemed like it was pretty interesting right up my alley. Um, key provided by Dev. Thank you very much, Dev. I'm gonna, let's check it out. Uh, this is going to be, it's a weird one because um, it's got some board game elements, which I'm a huge fan of. I am pretty into board games, but it's also narratively based. It's like one of these kind of semi choose your own adventures, which uh, historically I've had a lot of fun with things like war game and uh, King of Dragon Pass, although I, I need to get back to that one, don't I? As a royal planner, I declare that I will endeavor to fulfill the required quotas for food, materials, and services. I place myself in the service of the king and his royal council. Okay. I, I did it. Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. We got like a little stamp interaction. That's kind of fun. So we're using that uh, mechanic to kind of stamp the map. I really like that kind of like physical component. Like it's it's uh, it's got a real sense of uh, tactile feedback. Windmills use open land to grow wheat. Okay. Um, I am uh, I am sensing a little bit. There's been a like recent trend of like very kind of casual town building games uh, in which they, they they're, they're very basic, like you get more points depending on positioning. Um, I believe one was called Reefs, and then another one was called, uh, I think the original one was called Islanders, and then there was another one that was making uh, headway. This, I think, is already a little bit different. Okay, I see, so we're, we're making more of these. Can we, can we stamp one here? All right, map complete. Buildings, five. All right, so we need a certain amount of food um, and resources just so we're clear you see a forest you put a logging camp next to it mines next to rocks will produce ore logging camps next to forests will produce wood windmills use open land to grow wheat okay so we want to like use all of this information combined in order to best gain our resources so like that's probably not great but it, there's only one rock so i don't know if, we're, if we can really do much better than that can we just like do something like this are we penalized for building a bunch of those and then we'll have a windmill here there you go that's what we want don't forget you're here forever <laughs> I, I, di I did it for her i keep the pictures where i need them the most congratulations on your appointment i can't say i'd want to spend my days bent over parchment but i suppose it beats shoveling shit wow language this is a pg-13 stream so watchtowers are best placed next to other things so this uh, this definitely has uh some some similarities it is again all about positioning and you're basically just trying to gain as much resources as you can i think that there is a way to kind of puzzle it out because like you can only place certain well not not you can only place but you should only place uh certain buildings next to other buildings and then um well this wind the windmills are the ones that you're always going to want to place last because they need open space right so we're going to pro probably want to place like a watchtower here and then like if i place this here does it give the watchtower more points it does so i'm going to put this guy here and then we're gonna put this here. So that does, it does take points away depending on uh, how, how well you did. And then we're gonna to wanna to put, we, we need four more um, windmill points. Can we do this? Yes, that's what we want. And then we wanna put a watch, watchtower somewhere where it's not gonna interfere. So like right there is good enough. Okay, so I mean like maybe not ideal. Okay, so uh, we got houses. Houses double capacity when next to each other. All right. So again, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna want to place our mining camp next to the mountains. That makes sense. Then uh, we're gonna want to place a windmill where it makes the most sense, and then we'll place some houses next to each other. Um, we still need some more windmill, but yeah, easy enough. So where are the fences going? The fences are going near houses. It's worth more points if it's put next to a good house. Churches produce faith plus one more for each adjacent house. Okay, so so we can place it next to these houses and they're worth we're, we're, they're worth points. We'll, we'll 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 get some from them. Then we can um, put some fences near these houses. Uh, we definitely are going to want to make use of that mountain and we're definitely going to want to place some uh, of these next. Okay, so we're good for uh, we're good for this guy for the for those resources. Now we just need um, some more farm. We can probably make that with just um, fences. There you go. So docks go on the water, but then houses go near the dock. Docks produce fish when next to the water, more if surrounded by houses. So we probably want to build like a dock first. Oh, uh, it builds a little ship. Nice. I do like the look of this game. It's got a very simple look to it. 
Um, it could it could maybe do with the polish here and there. These these corners are sharp sharp enough to, to cut you on ice, I think. But um, I, I do really like the the kind of simple um, kind of pen and paper nature of this. So let's throw down some um, houses near this dock. That should be enough. Oh, it's not enough. Do we want to place like another dock? Yeah. And then this guy here, perfect. So now we have hunting camps. Use uh, open land to hunt, much like the windmills. Uh, now we're kind of balancing how many of each kind of resources we're gonna want, right? So we're gonna need some windmill power. We're gonna give it um, some nice generous land where then uh, we can like throw a, a camp down there, why not? Then um, we'll put a church down and put some houses near it. We'll also, uh, I think, fill in the gaps so that we get more faith, but I guess we don't really need that much faith. Then we can make up our, uh, basically, food with fences, and then we want to make up the rest with hunting. Um, we should be able to make, get away with just that. Nope, not enough. Okay, I noticed these ones are redder. I wonder if they're worth more points or less points if they're basically the same. We have roads. Buildings adjacent to roads will have their resources doubled but only if that road leads back to the castle. Okay, so we have a castle as well. And you know, I, I know I've been making this kind of uh, comparison a lot, but this, I'm getting I'm getting some mad uh, Carcassonne vibes, which is nice. I mean, I really like Carcassonne and I, I like just like tile placing games is a, is a lot of fun. I hate to put more on your plate, but if you come across any of our strongholds, you'll need to link them up to his majesty's castle with roads. This is something you'll have to do on top of reaching your quota. Okay, so we'll just like go ahead and connect it up to your road. And so we complete that mission. Then uh, you, like this is this game is honestly like you start things off and you just kind of check a few lists. You want to make sure that you have mines around the mountains. You want to make sure you have uh, logging camps around the, the forest and uh, that everything kind of makes sense in its own space. So if we put this guy here, will it produce more? Yeah, okay. So roads are worth using even if it shortchanges the resources. So we could do something like that. Oh, that was almost enough right away. Oh, we need faith. Okay, so let's um let's throw down a church. Where do we want to put a church? Kind of want to put a church next to a road, but there isn't. If a dock is in line with the lighthouse, they become linked to any other dock also in line with that lighthouse. That means you can have a road lead to one dock, then out of another across the sea. Do that and I'll find ships to handle the rest. Oh, interesting. That definitely incentivizes us to build the dock in a certain way. So we can do stuff like this and then we can link these up together. Although I don't know if that's necessarily what we're doing. All right, so yeah, these docks are in line with the lighthouse. So that means that we can connect the castle to the fortress or whatever it's called. Um, and that still counts as completing our goal. Then we have to complete all of the other goals, which, you know, is, is fine. I wonder, does a windmill produce more food if it's near a road? I think so. We just need more uh, camps now. Well, I guess that's not gonna work. Could we put like a, a mining camp? No, that, that got us nothing, okay. Okay, we, we did it. Yeah, we're, we're good. It was a bit messy, but that's fine. You won't always have the land you need to connect the strongholds or even fulfill your quota, which is why you will be allotted funds from the treasury to buy whatever land you deem fit for our needs, much like the stamps. Left click to pick up one and move it to the free slot. Okay, so so we have our stronghold and our castle and we basically need to connect the two. So let's start with a cheap forest land and that way we can, um, I mean, we can just throw a bunch of logging camps near that forest, takes care of things. Then um, we can make use, we can, we can gain even more from these logging camps by uh, putting our road near them. So that works out there. Um, then we can make up the rest of our faith. Then we can just like go straight up, just get our faith. And then we can make a bunch of food from just fencing those off. And then probably we, we're good to get the rest from windmills. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be close. Oh, we're good, okay. If you lack the funds to finish a job, you'll need to sell some of the land you've developed. Won't be hard finding a noble with a coin, but if you want to get the most out of it, you'll need to diversify. The gold to resource value is one to one, so a piece of land that produces five food will sell for five gold. However, if that piece uh, produces food and material, then the price is doubled. 
If it has all three types, then the price is tripled. Use the sold stamp on the right to stamp the land you wish to sell. So we have to kind of make some money right away. So we could throw some, wind some windmills near this vol these volcanoes, but we want to diversify, right? Like we want to make the most of this tile and then sell it. We could just like throw down a church and get some faith from it. This is fine. Can we throw it in a, I guess it technically, yeah, if we do this, we'll make a little bit more from that. Um, and then we can sell it. it. Sells for 81. There you go. Oh, but it's, it, it doesn't disappear. You, I, oh, once, oh, that's interesting. Okay. So once you've done that, I was thinking, wow, I mean, that, that this game could go on forever, basically, if it, if it disappears. But no, you're going to have to deal with uh, other stuff. And you lose the, all of the resources that you gained from that. So that's um, that's actually really interesting. And these are randomized as well. I was thinking, uh, it's like, oh, you know, every time you're going to, you just want to take the ones that you need. But there's actually a little bit of a challenge in, in that you don't, you can't always rely on the same tiles or same land to... Uh, exist every time. So we'll go ahead and get some, put some windmills over here. Good. I mean, we'll, you know, we throw down a, a church and then build a bunch of houses near near it. I like. I don't. I know we don't need that many, but I mean, like, it just you know checks that box very readily. And then we can make up the rest with a hunting camp. Nice. So that was all the tutorial. Honestly, it felt like a pretty satisfying game in its own right. So we'll see. We'll, no, I don't want to. I, I just did the tutorial. We're gonna see what the actual game is like. Make your choice in the next map by generating one of these re those resources, the highest of which will alter events the most. If you are unsure of what those resources are, you can click on the report card. Come to the next transcript, you will see the outcome of your choice marked accordingly. And that's it, just be careful you don't cause too much trouble. So right away, we're presented with the fact that we do have to connect up two tiles. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna make use of water um, land this time. I'm planning to build a windmill near that volcano, so I'm gonna build around where I'm gonna build that. So we're gonna go ahead and check this box, then we'll build a windmill. We have um, some houses here. We could just like build a church there. That's gonna give us quite a bit of faith. Yeah, I feel a little bit choked off if I'm being honest. I maybe should have built a land for the purposes of selling. So we could um, we could develop this land up and then sell it. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but it might be the only way. Okay, all right, we'll, we'll sell it. Cause we need to, we need some more money. I don't think I'm gonna have enough. I guess I could develop up this land specifically to sell and then go this way. Okay, that's that's something we could do. Okay, well, we'll get 50 from this. I'm still not really gonna get enough, I think. So I have to keep building up land in order to sell. I kind of wanted to put a road here. So we're gonna sell this now. Oh, 99. Okay, so we're getting we're getting up there. I could develop one more here, uh, like right here. And then I can, I should be able to build around. Okay, we, we have enough now. In fact, I can, I can build another land there just for safety. We should have enough to basically build, like get the rest of the resources that we need. Okay, windmills, throw down a fence there. We'll throw down a hunting camp there and a windmill there. Okay, we're going to want to put a couple of churches nearby here. We'll do something like this as well because I'm going to want to place down a mining camp. I could, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Uh, I'll throw down a house here next to the church and then we'll throw down a fence and that should give us quite a bit more. Nice, okay. This uh, volcano is just going to be like big old food supplier and that that got us almost all of the rest that we need we are going to need to re build up our, our resources though so mining camps here so we we split them 50 50. we can build some towers here as well i wonder do these roads still count towards no they don't can i put okay i can put a road there it will short change us a little bit but actually we'll get it back because it'll go near the windmill um unfortunately i've cut off quite a lot of these resources um, from putting a road next. Okay, so I would say I would. I'm pretty. I'm doing pretty sloppily on this. On this first one, we're we're. I think we can make up this with watchtowers. Oh, no, just barely not. Okay, so we have enough. We just need just a little bit more resources. We can. I think we can do it with just hunting camps. Oh wait, there's a ton of stuff over here. I'm not making use of. Okay, mining camp. Oh, wait, what? What am I doing? <laughs> Okay, perfect. Map, map complete silver. Oh, I didn't do very well, did I? No doubt, Sire, you saw the blaze that tore through our farms last night. I did. Is it finally under control? Yes, all but extinguished. However, the damage it has caused is quite considerable. Go on. Well, we were able to pull the livestock out in time. But the fields being as dry as they were, well, the next harvest looks to be quite poor. 
One bad harvest shouldn't rock the boat too much, I would think. Ah. Uh, yes, but the fire does uh, also reach our uh, grain stores. They were decimated, sire. Right, well, someone better explain quickly where that leaves us. Uh, we can still supply the kingdom with fish and whatever livestock that was saved from the blaze, but grain was our major source of food. There won't be enough to go around. Well, Snow's about this. Don't worry, sir, we'll keep them in check. I expect the people to get a bit rowdy, depending on how long it takes. Desperate to, okay, by all means. Okay, so um, it seems to me all of this to say we're gonna want more food in this uh, run than in the last one. So we'll start with uh, we'll start with this, and I'm gonna build it in a way uh, that it's separate from everything else because we're just going to use this to make money and sell. Okay, so that's pretty good, and then we'll sell this for a pretty penny. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll do that one more time. I'm gonna develop I'm gonna develop this one purely to sell it. So let's go ahead and throw down uh, some food. And then we'll sell this. And that sells for a pretty good chunk of change as well. So now we we should have enough to basically buy what we need. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll use a uh, water tile. I think water tiles, their main purpose is going to be that they are a fast travel, like they're they're gonna get you to your um, destination like quickly, so you don't have to worry so much about developing a tile. So we should have enough. We we in fact we have enough money. We could probably build not quite everything, but very close. Now we're, we're gonna want way more food this time. Remember, um, because we're uh, you know for story purposes, uh, we need we need to to fulfill that. Check that box. We're shortchanging these forests a little bit, but that should be fine. I'm gonna focus a little bit on building these up just a bit. Even if we're focusing on food, I, I still want to to kind of plan around these for positioning purposes. I wonder, I'm gonna this is gonna be purely experimental, but I'm wondering if a fence is near a road, does it produce more? Like that produced two, is this one? Okay, so it does actually produce more if it's near a road. And the, of course, when these houses are better, they, they produce more, right? So we could place road um, fences near the road to produce more food. And then we could put churches on the other side to also produce faith. So we'll put like fences all along here and then we'll place buildings and then we'll place churches. And like, so a, a kind of an, a natural uh, optimization is is making its face known. So I can now make use of this area with a couple of fences and then a couple of houses and then we'll throw down a church. We'll throw down another house here. We're almost done. I still um, want to get some more food. Done. Bronze? Wow, I didn't do very well there, did I? Right, what's the latest on our food sh uh, shortage? Well, it's been tough, but I believe we'll soon be out of it, sire. And the peasants, how have they weathered it? Your Majesty, with my guiding hand, they have endured. Good. However, I must admit I could not reach everyone, for some chosen chose to hide from the Almighty's light. To those I left to General Ivar, which appears to have been too much for him. Okay, so I guess we want to place down some hunting camps. And we also, uh, we want faith to be our primary resource in this one as well. This is a tricky one because uh, if I was to place in any of our adjacent spots near the castle and then sell that, we actually wouldn't be able to complete our, our goal. So um, I'm thinking what we should do is we'll place one here and then we'll place one here. And this is gonna be the one that we sell. So we're gonna we're gonna wanna sell this. I'm still trying to figure out like how best to make use of a tile. So maybe we could do something like this and then we'll place a guard tower in there for blue and then we want food, right? I don't think there's much else we can do here. Maybe I'll place a couple more windmills. That gave us something there, but not much. And we want to put a watchtower there. So now we'll sell this for only 60. I have a funny feeling that's going to reflect badly on our score. This is a little tricky because the road runs right through the map. So we could do something like fence, house, house, church, house, house, fence. I think that's good because it upgrades those houses. We're getting the most from those that one fence. We're getting the most from that church. That's about as much as we can hope for for a straight line like that. Then we could place like a fence here, house here, house, house, and then church. I think that's pretty good. I, I, I'm pretty happy about that. No industry at all. We're gonna want, again, to make use of one of these corner spaces in order to sell. I think I'm gonna have to place one of these water uh, tiles, which is not really ideal. Oh, and also 
That is a complete waste. I think I just ruined this whole this whole thing. Yeah, because I can't place the dock in line with the lighthouse. I, I have to restart. So that's something we, we saved a bit of money for doing that. Then we will develop our land. He, oh, oh, I have to restart again. And I mean like, no, I don't, but like, you know what happened there, right? That, that one forest tile was in exactly the, the right spot to make sure that we couldn't um, place a, a, a dock on that tile. So we weren't gonna be able to get any of the, the bonuses from the roads. That's brutal. And we could place a hunting camp here. I think that does actually work. Like, I, I my brain is like, well, those those tiles are occupied now, but they're actually not. They, they we're just gaining something from it. Then we'll put uh, a watchtower here, and we can sell this for ninety. Not a, not my best yet, but not bad. All right, so um, let's get our business right. Logging camps, mining camps. Mining camps, logging camps, logging camps. Okay, I don't think I can, I don't think it's worth building roads to make use of that because that's gonna ruin two tiles. So I think what I wanna do actually is to build, we're gonna build three houses like this. Um, we're then gonna place some fences and I'm gonna place a church in the middle here and I think actually it would make some sense to place a couple more like this. Then we're gonna make use of this empty space by placing some hunting camps. Remember, we need hunting camps on this level. And I think that works out pretty good. We can place one more. Kind of want to do another windmill like here. That's actually great because it uh, gets a bonus from the road. We could also do like a, another hunting camp like out here. We'll get some a bonus from that as well. I guess we want to sell this. So we want to make the most we, uh, we can from it. 96, that's pretty good. And with that, we'll be able to buy the rest of the tiles that we need. Logging camp. And we'll do a watchtower. And I and I will sell that. It's another good price for that. We want to make sure that we end with more faith than we would generally want. Um, so we can continue the story in some kind of meaningful way. We should be able to finish this with money and faith to spare. And there's a bunch of stuff I'm not using. But it's going to end as soon as I'm done. Like as soon as I have exactly the right number of materials. I think I'll just do it with uh, hunting camps because we need to end with that anyway. So silver, I'm still a little confused on the grading system. Oh, Boren, there was none of that. Jaren's huntsman led us right up to those thieving bastards. Past God knows what they had set up for us. And before they knew what was going on, they were face down eating shit, haha. <laughs> well, my, <laughs> my thanks to both you. So I think I did it, I don't know, I'm not sure. The story is, is interesting, it's a little bit vague how uh, my actions are influencing it. Levels are developing in an interesting way. I think that this one is a little bit more challenging than the other similar games like the Islanders and the Reefs because it is it is actually presenting you with obstacles to overcome. In that way, I actually think that this is, this is, a, this is a good entry into the whole like casual um, city or uh, town builder. Uh, it's obviously a little bit more simplistic in terms of its aesthetic, but I, I really like it. Uh, I honestly think the, the only thing maybe you, that could improve it is just to soften up these edges a little bit because they are a little bit jarring to look at. If, you, if they just had like a little bit of a, like a torn edge, it would do a lot to uh, make this feel a bit more like a map that you're building and not just like a grid. This game is priced at $10, which I think is like super reasonable. If you've enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.